There are two types of ego. The false ego has innumerable wants and desires. It says, I am a man. I want this. I am a woman. I want that. I am sick. I want to be happy. I am rich. I am very poor. It is always I. But when this ego is annihilated, a transformation takes place. The false I is replaced by the real I. And the experience, I am free from desires and wanting. I am infinite. I am one with God, is gained. That is the real ego. If a man asserts I am God because he has read and understood intellectually that there is nothing but God, this assertion fails because he and his mind are not one. This assertion is due to thinking, which means duality. He had no direct experience, only an idea of unity through his understanding. Therefore, this is not a real experience and is not the real ego. There is no room for compromise. You cannot be a man of the world and at the same time become one with God. If you have realized God within you and God is all-powerful, then you must also be all-powerful. Why then do you feel helpless? Because there is a veil that veils you from God. You yourself are the veil and it is not possible for you to lift it. Your eyes can see a vast panorama but cannot see themselves. For that a mirror is required. When the mirror of my grace descends, your own true self is revealed in an instant. But how can you obtain my grace? It is very difficult. You must drown yourself completely in the ocean of my love. Then you will find my grace there. If you cannot bear to drown yourself, there is compromise. There can be no compromise if you want me. Avatar Meher Baba Ki Jai